All right, guys, this is pretty exciting. Finally got it. We've got our inverter. We can go ahead and start the rest of our projects. And here it is. Just got back from picking this up from Ian at Watts 24-7. I will bust it out, get it all set up, and get some good videos out to you guys where we can start testing it and we can start playing with the rest of our projects. So long-term plan, we're going to get two of these and set them up in parallel and test their 240 volts and play with a couple of projects with that. I just haven't quite decided yet. Maybe you guys can help me if we want to do two of these 24 volt systems or if we want to do 48 volt. I think for the parallel we're going to do 48. I think this one's going to stay mobile. And depending on how things go, maybe we'll set up uh, a parallel. I've got some big plans for these. Uh, you'll see that as we put it together. But so far what we've got here is we've got the 24 volt 3000 watt inverter system. And because we are going to be running some Lion Energy lithium iron phosphates, I have this uh, battery balancer unit. So that way you don't end up with issues uh, with your BMS on those batteries. So uh, this is actually a really useful unit. And if you are running lithium iron phosphate, you should probably have one of these in your system. I will put a link in the video to uh, Ian's video explaining what's going on with these over at Watts 24-7 and uh, the lithium iron phosphate batteries and, and the issues that you get uh, if you run your lithium iron phosphate without these uh, and you don't periodically go through and equalize your batteries. It's, it, I don't know how common of a problem is, but I'm just going to avoid it altogether. So this is real simple. Works by putting uh, the red on the positive of your 24 volt setup and the black on the negative and then the white goes to the series connection in between the two. I believe that's the setup, yep. So this will make sure that if all your power is going into the one battery that this is equalizing, making sure that other power goes into the other battery before the BMS reaches um, an over voltage condition for the first battery and shuts it down because th that's like I said I'll, I'll link Ian's video so you can see he just does an excellent job at describing that but uh, the potential issue you have is your power flowing into the first battery will put it into an over voltage condition and it will essentially give you a ghost voltage and shut your whole system down because the BMS will turn that battery off every time it char tries to charge and it will never charge the second battery in line. This one, this device will prevent that from happening. So that's what we've got here and we will start playing uh, shortly and uh, you guys probably won't have to see all the in-between. I'll get it set up and show you what we're doing.